It's been about a month since I dropped my last YouTube video and kind of wanted to kick off the year with this video. I thought it would be a, a great video just to kind of talk about gear for a little bit while I get back in the swing of things. I probably should take that Christmas tree down. But in today's video, um, I really wanted to talk about one of my favorite cameras. This is my brother's um, Canon R3. In this video, I wanted to talk about a lot of things that I do love about this camera, why this camera still is so appealing to me. But as always, if you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to stay up to date when I drop new videos every single week. All right, so I remember when this came out, my brother was able to snag this and part of the reason why I really enjoy this camera is because of Peter McKinnon. Peter McKinnon is one of my favorite YouTubers out, him, Maddie, and a couple other YouTubers that I watch. When I saw it, I immediately thought about the 1DX. I thought about all the vlogs that Peter did with it and actually holding it in my hand right now is incredible. This camera feels like a camera. It feels well built and this is one of the best things about Canon that I love. Their camera systems are tremendously easy. I remember the last Canon camera I had was the uh, M50. That did not stand the test of time before I quickly moved over to the, uh, I went to the a7 III and then I went over to the A7S, which is the one I'm filming on right now. What drew me to this camera when it came out was the build quality. The build quality was great. I love the DSLR feel. I like to be able to shoot vertically as well too. So I like the fact that it would, this, this body just felt right. Now, one thing about the body that I really, actually a couple things I like about the body, first and foremost is the flip screen. It's just way better built than my my Sony, it's certainly bigger than my Sony. Checking out on the left side here, we do have some of the basic ports. We have a mic with a headphone jack. We do also have a USB-C and a micro HDMI. Oh, I remember why I didn't like this. <laughs> um, and down below, we have just some other ports. Um, and uh, continuing down on the bottom here is the big battery that this guy um, holds. This does take CF Express cards and UHS2 memory cards, which is great. And just kind of looping over to the EVF, this EVF is fantastic. When we went over to the store and we we're checking this out, I was really taken away by the EVF. The EVF was fantastic. And the other thing too I wanted to mention about this that I really, really enjoy, uh, really, really like about the Canon R3 is the hot shoe. If this were the only camera that I had to pick for the year, it would be this because you can get professional audio with the adapter that Canon or Tascam provides. I forget which one of them provides it. After having professional audio, I can't see myself going back if I can do anything about it. This is built so well. I wish Sony came out with at least one DSLR-esque type of body, but I know Sony's whole design element is, is small and slim and compact. That's what they're going for. I think that's what is working for Sony. Um, overall, this, this camera, I, I haven't even used it yet, but I will tell you that this is a camera that makes me want to create. It is, uh, it is so exciting when I pick it up. Just obviously the Canon color is something that I can't even begin to tell you about. I think that's one major advantage about Canon is just the colors. You're you're not doing too much in regards to the colors with Sony. I really do have to kind of uh, massage the look a little bit and and although it's possible, you just have to work a little bit with Sony's. But I really, like I said, at the end of the day, my Sony a7S is, it does what I need it to do. But with the Canon R3, this just has a lot of stuff that I love about it. In terms of vlogging, I could see myself using this for vlogging. I could see myself using this in scenarios where I need to take, you know, a couple pics real quick. And I think what's also great about this R3 is the fact that I don't think, I don't think about bringing a gimbal with me. I'm sorry. I don't think about bringing a tripod with me because if I'm vlogging, I can hold it like this. I can essentially hold it like this. And then I have literally a well-balanced camera in front of me. One of the things that I probably will need to consider is if it can actually fit in a camera bag, like a small camera bag. The lens that I have on here is the 16 millimeter lens, which is one of my favorites. If I had to pick up the R3, I'd probably pick up the 16 or the 15 to 35 and the 70 to 200. And that's all I really would need. I don't really need primes. I think Canon has really, really good lenses. I think they're quality lenses. I think they're built really well. I My brother has a couple um, in the room here and it's just, such a great parent this 15 the 35 or the 16 for like just vlogging and the 70 to 200 just for everything else like i those are generally two of the like two of the ranges that i'm usually in and i don't think i need anything more than that outside of this man this is definitely the camera if i had to pick one camera one canon camera 
to buy, it would absolutely be the Canon R3. And if I had to consider some other cameras that I'm looking at, it would probably be the uh, the C70. I do like the R5. The R5 is actually pretty cool too. Like I said, if I had to pick one, it would be the R3 just for some of the, you know, some of the items that I mentioned. Now this camera itself is sporting a 24 megapixel sensor. We do have dual pixel autofocus here, eye control, AF. We also do get 6K 60 RAW, 4K 120, 10-bit video. Now the price of this camera currently is sitting at about $6,000. If you need something like this, uh, the price is not going to be a factor for what you do. You're just going to need the camera because it, you're you know that's what you do you need a professional camera but yeah that is pretty much my video i'm sorry that this video was a little longer than i expect I'm so happy to get back on the channel got a couple projects coming up which i'm so excited about and hopefully i can finally get my schedule intact uh but i figured i'd drop a quick little video and just talk to you guys about one of my favorite canon cameras i will leave links down below so if you want to check it out and check some of the specs that i didn't mention and definitely check out some other uh, creators videos about this i actually watch quite a bit of videos about the R3 and uh, I can't say anything bad about the R3. I, saw, I mean, I wish the price were a little bit lower, but I mean, that's what the market is and that's where we're at right now with a lot of these cameras. Uh, but fantastic camera um, and I'm probably gonna test it out throughout the rest of the week and the weekend. Uh, but that is the video guys um if you're new to my channel uh please consider subscribing uh, if you are a subscriber sorry i've been away for a little bit i really needed to focus on life and work and getting that kind of in a, in a row and i finally finally am at a point where i could record youtube videos consistently or better and uh so excited about the new year so excited about what's to come and that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video and as always until my next video doing the beyonce thing <laughs> all right guys peace